Yeah, hi everybody, DC here. It's the 7th of the 3rd, 22, and uh, I'd like to discuss Little Billy Ether. Um, mainstream physics doesn't want to talk about Billy Ether, but I think it's important. Um, so I'm going to have a go <laughs> at sharing my thoughts on Little Billy Ether. Um, my friend, um, I say my friend, he's uh, somebody that I follow on the internet, that's Ken Wheeler. He's got many books on ma magnetism and he has mentioned the ether and he's in agreement with Nikola Tesla that um, there is an ether there and there's different forms of ether, if you like. There's Tesla's ether and there's Heaviside's ether. So I suppose this is DC's ether theory. <laughs> I'm going to have a go at it anyway. So um, it's difficult to talk about the ether because, well, we're in it. <laughs> I suppose you could say it's air. But if there was a, a fish in the sea, the fish would regard the sea as the ether. It's actually in it. But would it actually know that it's living in the ether? <laughs> That's one of the questions I put to you. Um, okay, um, where do I start with this? Well, I suppose I could start with uh, fields, fields and instant action at a distance. I think you know what I'm talking about there. Um, I'll come back to it later, but... Uh, any comments on instant action at a distance and explaining how it works? Um, let's talk about radio, radio signal. Let's talk about light. And let's talk about a copper wire. Actually, how electricity flows down a wire or round a wire or in the wire. Hmm, <laughs> yes, all very interesting. I've got a little friend here, he's called Billy, and he's a field, and he's got a, a north and a south, so little Billy, little Billy Ether, is a field, and it's as big as it is, <laughs> a field. <laughs> it could be a mile across, it could be, I don't know, a nanometer across, but that's good old Billy, he's a field. So, little Billy has got some mates. So, here, oh, I'm trying to do this right. Here's some of his mates, little Billy's mates, in the field. Yeah? And they're all spread out, pretty even, although they don't have to be absolutely even. And some, some of his mates are bigger. <laughs> yeah, so that's Billy's mates. Now then, if I can do this. All the fields are lined up like that. All Billy, Billy has got these mates and they're all lined up like that. With direction, if you like. All the magnets pointing in one direction or they can go in different directions, like this. Yeah. Little Billy, Billy's friends, because they're all not the same. They're all a bit different. They're all a bit wacky. And these bigger mates go in different directions too. Yeah? But they're all interconnected. So the small fields have effect on the big fields. So little Billy's got these mates which are big and small fields and they're all, all slightly different but they all affect one another so they all affect one another so if I was to get this Billy here looking like that just a minute <clears throat> not doing very well here folks but I'm trying that's the main thing is I'm trying here he is there's Billy so if this Billy here is there, like that, and this Billy's there, like that. <laughs> now you'd think 
they'd swing round and like poles and unlike poles. Well, they would, but they're all being affected by one another, so there's a balance. And the balance of these positions of the fields affect one another. So if I was to turn this billy here like that, it would have an effect on all the other fields, wouldn't it? So that's what I'm suggesting, that these fields, if, if one turns, they all turn, or should I say they all move. Okay, so if they all move, it's interesting. So if you look at uh, a radio signal moving in, in the fields, uh, let's put here an antennae, right? And this antennae has waves. Look, I'm looking down the antennae there. So the waves are going out like so, like so. But this is this what I'm drawing out here is only in, um, well, it's for you guys, I suppose it's one dimension. Um, we really ought to be looking at in three dimension then it becomes a bit more difficult. <laughs> but if, if uh, uh, let's do the antennae as if it stood up like that. This is a radio mast. There's the earth. Okay. And the signal goes out from that. Like that. Compression, compression, rarefaction. So it's got expanding and going out and contracting. But that doesn't do it justice, does it? Because it's this is still one dimension. But what I'm suggesting here is, if there's a signal going out, remember that one little billy affects the other little billies. That's how a radio signal goes out. So. When, it, when the signal goes out, it, it affects this one here and this, this little billy moves. I'm not saying this little billy compresses, although he might do, but he moves and instantly the other, the other billies, <laughs> you think of them as molecules if you like, they turn as well. So there's a lot going on. It's hard to get your head round. Uh, Ken Wheeler tries to explain it, but it's still hard to explain a three-dimensional, what's happening in three dimensions, in one dimension, which makes it even worse for us. <sighs> so, let's have a look at a copper wire. There we go. That's a length, short length of copper wire. So if you're looking at it on end, you'd see that. How does the electricity flow down that wire? I, I don't think it does flow down the wire. It doesn't flow down and jump out at that end. I think there's little Billy ethers in the wire. There they all are. And I think each, each little billy is like a magnet. So what happens, to, what, what happens to Billy is he's induced, <laughs> he's induced to roll down, roll down, roll over. But he can't go very far because of the other mates. So what happens is when this billy rolls, he makes that one roll. So uh, it's roll, 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 roll. As Billy rolls, remember, Billy's a magnet. So what's actually happening is there's a magnetic flux coming off him, but also a magnetic flux coming off all these others. So the magnetic force now rolls round like a spiral. Boom, boom, boom. Like that. 
So nothing actually moves, but little Billy rolls. And I think that's what happens down a, down a copper wire. So little Billy turns like that, turns and turns. But he doesn't roll down there, he just rolls over. So ha has this little Billy here rolls, he makes the next one roll. And maybe shake as well. <laughs> shake, rattle and roll down, down the pipe, down the wire. So, wire. I'm, sorry, I'm looking through the camera as I'm doing this. The flow is a roll. So you don't have any electrons jumping out at this other end. <laughs> but there's potential there. Potential. And depending on the roll and how, if you like, how quickly it's absorbed and pulsed or vibrated or whatever, depends on the pressure. So it's all about pressure mediation. So <laughs> this is how light works with fields. Little little Billy field and light is um, it's not transmitted it's it's like absorbed and passed on. <laughs> so Light and frequencies, if you can imagine, let's take this little Billy here. He can be influenced by the big Billies or the little Billy Ethers, or both at the same time. So all these operating together can come under the heading of light. That's my explanation of Billy Ether. <laughs> That's my ex explana exclama exclamation explanation of um, what happens in life, in materials, in space, and it's all about little Billy Ether. He's got a lot to answer for as little Billy, but what it does do, it explains instant action at a distance one moves the other moves so this this distance from there to there can be a millimeter it can be a million miles a trillion miles but anything moves here it moves there instantly that's my take on things but I think there is a there is a time lag between movement here and movement in a million miles. I think there's got to be, although, although, maybe not, because if these are magnets, when one moves, they all move. So, to me, that ex explains the speed of light or the absorption of light. It's Little Billy Ether rolling over. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd get that one out of the bag. I've tried to explain the wire. I've tried to explain a radio signal. Fish in the sea. <sighs> Little Billy's got a lot to answer for. All right, folks. Um, I know this is getting away from me project, but I've got to get this one off my chest while I'm still here. <laughs> There's a way I feel at the moment. Anything could happen. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one. DC, out for now, bye.